I am going to address a situation, clear up some confusion maybe, and, I don't know, give you my side of the story. Uh, social media, I believe, has been had a huge, huge impact on society. Uh, you don't have to be rocket scientist to figure that out and as a content creator often I see the worst side of it I'm just making videos okay on my other channel whatever now the other day I was doing some cleanup on that channel okay the day never intended to end up what it, the way it did I was simply doing a cleanup. I knew of somebody that needed a doghouse, delivered the doghouse. Okay. I had not been on that property since February when that previous owner lived there. I'd not been there. Uh, well, I, I came up a few times, but I never looked around, never really actually took a walk around. I never went inside. And I noticed how nasty it was okay just nasty and that property had previously been cleaned up that is well documented and so after i delivered the doghouse i came back home and i said you know i'm gonna go out there tomorrow at least at least clean up some stuff and make it where he can get to his chicken yard safely so i brought my weed eater i spent a couple hours out there weed eating making path a path for him to walk he's disabled by the way and picking up junk that was left there and for that i got banned from the property ever going back to help him anymore as well as everyone else we had something planned for tomorrow that a bunch of us were going to meet up there and just clean up the land and and i got a comment on a video saying you you or taking advantage of him for your own gain. So what does that mean? How am I gaining by going to somebody's house and, and helping them clean it up? How, how am I benefiting from that? Cause, cause of my videos, I'm making money on the video. Is that what you're insinuating? Well, that could be true. If it wasn't all being donated to a dog rescue, I am filming every single day this month. So anything I do is getting pretty much getting filmed. Peter has a YouTube channel. He doesn't mind, but apparently the owner of the property did. And I had no ideas. They got other plans for the house, whatever that is. But apparently nobody has the balls to speak up to the previous owner. And so they don't. And so the stuff sits there. Free storage. Okay? All I was trying to do was help. That is it. And for that, that's what happens. So, as I stated on the other channel on a community post, I am no longer lending hands to people. Okay? And I've done a lot of that. I don't give a crap what anybody says. I've helped people financially. I've helped people with materials. I've helped people with rides, uh, glasses, you name it. I've spent my own money and never once asked for anything back in return. Not once. Not once. And that's because I can handle my own life. Okay. And, and if I need something and if I can't obtain it, I go without. But I'm no longer, because it always backfires. One way or another, you get stabbed in the back by people uh, dogs they don't do that to you they don't do that so i'm staying out of the drama man even though this creates a little drama i want to just it's all it ever is is drama and i don't want no part of that i just i was here i was the first one here okay and i was doing fine so i don't need anybody else helping me uh i, I don't care I can handle my own life. 
And that's not what this is about. It's, you know, I'm just trying to help somebody. And all that person that owns that property had to do was, was all she had to do was contact Peter and get my number and call me and say, Hey, I appreciate it. If you don't go in the house or I appreciate this and that, or I don't appreciate this and that didn't handle it that way. Made a comment on one of my videos calling me, uh, well not calling me, but telling me I was taking advantage of that person, taking advantage by helping him. <laughs> insanity man so now you know the rest of the story but i ain't got time to sit on here all day i gotta get out and clean up my own land we are in the middle of a severe drought and i've got some very tall weeds in the back that need to come down uh i could have been doing that the other day but i was other helping others but i'm going out there today to do that also Millie can barely walk, so I'm watching her. I put her on a prednisone, which I researched. It is given for arthritis and things like that. However, I ordered her some CDB oil, which will be here Monday, and I can't give her another prednisone because those two conflict. So I don't want that in her system. Uh, it's pretty powerful, so... I happen to know CDB oil does wonders. Now, Millie, man, she's had a life. You know, she's only been here two years. But before that, you guys know the story with her. If you watch the videos, she ran everywhere. For the most part of her life, she had no home. She probably ate from garbage. And she is getting white in the face very fast. So I'm going to try to corral her next week and get her to the doctor and find out what's going on but she's probably worn a few years of her life off you know but she has a home and i will get her medical care and i will keep you guys posted about Millie. Uh, i'm watching her she's she's not walking good uh, she's walking like a 95 year old woman very very slow and you know i'm watching her and and i did give her something to help with pain I don't have any aspirins in the house, and I don't know about giving ibuprofen. Uh, so I'm just I'm waiting for that CDB oil. She's just laying around, comfortable. So hope we don't have to go through this again with her. But anyway, let me get this up there. Let y'all just be nice in the comments, okay? Because you don't know the whole story. I don't know the whole story. So there's no reason to slam anybody. It is, the situation is, I'm out of it. I'm totally out of the situation. You know, I, I just tried to help and it bit me in the butt. So be respectful in the comments. Thank you for watching and happy trails.